Hello and welcome back to my Arduino and electronics channel. My name is John and this is video number 6 in a series of tutorials about Arduino and electronics. Last time we were successful in using an analogic input to control the brightness of an LED. In this video we will see how we can use the switch statement to light up a series of LEDs depending on the state of the same input. This is the circuit we built in video number 5. Now leave the potentiometer and its connections as they are and connect four LEDs like this. Add the four resistors. And connect all cathodes to ground like this. Now connect the anodes, through the resistors, like this. Use pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. Our goal is to switch on a different number of LEDs depending on the position of the potentiometer and we will use the switch statement to recognize between five different conditions. Let's open the Arduino IDE and start a new sketch. If you do not want to type all the code, just follow the explanation and you will find the code in the description. As usual, we will start by giving names to all the pins we are using. So we have the potentiometer on A0, then we have LED1 on pin 11, LED2 on pin 10, LED3 on pin 9 and LED4 on pin 8. Then in the setup function we tell Arduino that we want to use the LED's pins as output. We do not really need to set the potentiometer pin as input, as all pins are inputs by default, but we can do it just the same, for sake of clarity. As we did last time, in the loop function we create a variable, and set the variable to the value that we read from the potentiometer. Now, what we want to do is to light up a different number of LEDs when we turn the potentiometer, so we will have all LEDs off when we set it zero, two LEDs on when it is halfway, and four LEDs on when it is turned all the way. To do this we need to recognize five different conditions. The first when the potentiometer is at position 0, the second when it is between 1 and 25%, the third when it is between 25 and 50% and so on. So we use map again to constrain the input value between 0 and 4. Now the variable output value contains a number that varies between 0 and 4 depending on the potentiometer position. How can we use this to light up the correct LEDs? We could use a series of, if, statements like this, where we compare the value of the variable four times. First we check if it is zero, and switch off all LEDs, then we check if the value is one and switch on just the first LED, then we check if it is two, if it is three, and finally if it is four. This is a bit confusing, and there is a better way to do that. The switch statement. Let's write, switch, Output value and open a curly brace. Then write, case, 0 followed by a colon symbol. Here we write what we want to happen in the case that the value is 0, and what we want is to have all LEDs switched off, so we set all LEDs output pins to low. We end what should happen in case the value is 0 writing break, followed by a semicolon. In the same way we carry on for all other conditions that we may encounter, in case 1 we light up the first LED and we turn off the other 3. For case 2 we turn on the first 2 LEDs. For case 3 we turn on the first 3 LEDs. And for case 4 we turn on all 4. At the end, we close the switch statement closing the curly brace. Now we can upload the sketch and see how it is working, as you can see we successfully managed to have these four LEDs behave as we wanted. Now a little exercise for you, can you modify the sketch so we just have one LED on like a moving dot. Something like this. If you can do it, please post your solution in the comments. This is all for today. Next time we will have a look at all possible data types, understanding the difference between integers and floating numbers in Arduino. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to hear your comments and suggestions. If you liked it, you can leave me a like, and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss the next videos. See you soon on Arduino and Electronics channel.